Hello riders and motorcycle enthusiastic people. This is Autograft India. Today we are going to learn how to tune your UC engine carburetor. This is 350 size, uh, 350cc motorcycle. So this has got BS29 series Yukal manufactured CV carburetor. BS and CV both are same. Now this is the screw which will be required for tuning purpose. It's called AFR screw or the COZD screw. This has got specific turns. You just cannot use random turns for that. Otherwise, it will detune the machine. So for this, you need one carburetor tuning screwdriver, which is a very thin screwdriver which I'm using because it has got a cavity kind of, you know, it's inside the cavity basically. And the second tool you'll be requiring RPM tool, tachometer. In 350 regular engines, you don't have onboard tachometer, but in Thunderbird, definitely you have an onboard tachometer where you can set the RPM according to, or the idle RPM according to your need, or according to the company recommendation. Company recommendation for these engines are basically from almost 1100 to 1500. I prefer to use 1100 RPM. Now, since this is have, this is a uh, this this tool is basically compatible for twin cylinder or for the four cylinder, but not compatible for the twin spark single cylinder engine because this has got two uh, two sparkers which are which generally gives different reading on the RPM meter. Now, I'm going to use wire for the RPM condition. This is also based on frequency which can catch up or this is based on magnetic field I'm going to attach RPM to 21.2142 is basically for single cylinder and 22.44 is for multi cylinder or twin cylinder or four cylinder. I'm going to use 21.42. Even if you don't set, it will reset to 21.42 according to the pulse. Now this this engine is basically preheated. In my last video, I have already mentioned that the machine has to be in hot condition. You cannot just tune the machine when it is in cold condition. I'm going to start the engine now. This engine is preheated right now, so it's giving me 970 RPM. So it's pretty good for me. I'm going to increase the RPM a little bit. This RPM is pretty good for tuning the carburetor. Now, I have, as I already told you, I have increased the RPM. This screw is for idle RPM setting. So I have increased the RPM. I am going to tune the engine. AFR screw has to be tightened at first place, so that is clockwise. engine switched off basically when I'm close when I have closed the CO screw or the AFR screw the engine should switch off that is the reason I kept the RPM little high but I guess it requires some more now increase the RPM some more
vacuum is abnormal. Since the air pass through is off. Now, how many turns basically required for the CV carburetor? The CV carburetor requires three full turns or six half turns. this is on 6 tons, 6 half tons that means 3 full tons if you close or if you rotate the screw clockwise it will close the vent inside the carburetor that means that is a zero level so if you if you want to increase or if you want to uh, tune the carburetor you have to rotate anti-clockwise that is either 6 half tons or 3 full tons I am going to show you once again now the RPM is also stable This is 930. I am going to keep it near to 1000 or 1100. That is 1100. Now just to show you, I am going to switch off the engine again. I am going to concentrate on the screw. stop now so I rotate it and clockwise and I have closed the vent now I have opened the vent that means I'm going to rotate anti-clockwise six half tons or three full tons I'm going to calculate according to this cut now this is one Carburetor again properly tuned. Now I am going to set the RPM according to that. This has to be done when the engine is hot condition. If you do it in cold condition, then the RPM you cannot set the RPM properly. It will keep on fluctuating. The fluctuation of minus 10 or plus is okay, but not 100 or 200. Now the carburetor is absolutely fine. To understand whether the carburetor is tuned or not, you should always check the plug color. It has to be coffee brown, and you should feel some sort of steam from the exhaust pipe you should feel some moisture sometimes you can see the steam if it is if it is done in winter you can see the steam now this has got a moisture perfectly
Thanks for watching and stay connected.